Okay, I want you to pause the video and look at the example I just did with you and see if there's anything that you don't understand. Okay, the first thing I did was multiply 3 times 12, and it gave me 36. 3 times 12 is 36, so I need things that multiply and give me 36 and a summer difference of 9. So I listed my factors here. I know that 3 and 12, when it's a difference, will give me 9. So the bigger number, that 12, needed to be positive, right? Then at the end, I went ahead and remembered that I had a 3 in the front, so that's why I divided both of them by 3. Now, this one came out perfect. You could have also took out a GCF of 3, because all of these can be divided by 3. 3 can be divided by 3, 9 can be divided by 3, and 12 can be divided by 3. Just like all of these have a GCF, of 5, right? This one can be divided by 5, 20 can be divided by 5, and 60 can be divided by 5. So I can start off by taking out a 5. So divide everything by 5. Okay, 5 divided by 5 cancels. That's a 1x squared. What's negative 20 divided by 5? Negative 4. You can type it in decimals. Negative 4x. And then what's negative 60 divided by 5? Negative 12. Okay, so in this case, because I don't have a number in the front anymore, I don't have to do what I did over here. Because if I would have multiplied 5 times 60, that's a really big number. That's 300. So you would have had to deal with the 300. Okay, once you take out the greatest common factor, then it's just like what we did yesterday where we need... Things that multiply and give me 12, and some are difference of 4. So what are things that multiply and give me 12? 1 times 12, 2 times 6, and 3 times, 3 times 4 is 12. Okay? Which one of those gives me a sum or a difference of 4? 2 and 6, if I add them or subtract them? Subtract, so that's a difference. So one's going to be positive, one's going to be negative. The bigger number is going to be, it's going to have that symbol. So the bigger number, it was 6, it's going to be negative. So it's x minus 6 and x plus 2. Okay, once you have the factors, the rest of it is pretty easy. Change the signs right? x equals 6 and x equals negative 2 are your solutions. All right, yesterday during quizzes, some of you were asking me the following. So make sure you write this down. Rocks. All of these mean the same thing. All of these mean the same thing. Roots. Zeros, it has a, it's like a zero, right? X-intercepts, and solutions, if they ask for any of these, they all mean the same thing, roots, zeros, x-intercepts, and solutions are where the graph crosses the x-axis. Those are your rocks. Roots, zeros, x-intercepts, solutions, they all mean the same thing. So if somebody asks you for roots, you need to know that that's the x-intercepts. If somebody asks you for zeros, that's the x-intercepts. If somebody asks you for solutions, that's the x-intercepts. They all mean the same thing. Okay? Pause the video if I went too fast and you need to write all of this down. Okay, so I'm going to do problem number... Oh, why is this not coming down? Problem number three, the same way that I did problem number one. I'm going to multiply 2 times 5. So everybody circle the 2. So 
circle the 2, multiply it times 5. What's 2 times 5? 10. So my new equation is x squared plus 3x minus 10 equals 0. I couldn't divide everything by 2. Okay, I cannot divide 3 by 2 and I cannot divide 5 by 2. So that's why I had to multiply those two and get me that number. So we need things that multiply and give me 10. One times 10, two times five, and which one of those gives me a summer difference of three? Two and five, summer difference. Difference. So one has to be positive, the other one has to be negative. This is a positive, so the bigger number takes that symbol. So it's gonna be x plus five and x minus two equals zero. Am I done? No, you have to remember the two. Don't forget the two. Divide this by two and divide this by two. Okay, what's five divided by two in decimals? Let's see. Five divided by two gets me 2.5, hit the fraction button, it's 5 over 2, so leave it alone. So that's x plus 5 over 2. And what's 2 divided by 2? 1. So this one is x minus 1 equals 0. What do I do with this 2 at the bottom? ¿Qué pasa con esto? It comes to the front, okay? It comes to the front. So my factor is 2x plus 5 and x minus 1. Okay, now we have to solve. So this one I know is x equals 1. Pay attention because you're going to need this one. This one, you have to set it equal to 0. So 2x plus 5 equals 0, and we have to solve. We have to solve. So what do I move first? The 5. What happens? It's minus 5, right? So that's 2x equals negative 5. Then what do you do? Divide by 2. x equals negative 5 over 2. Well, what do you notice about this and this? What do you notice? It's just negative, right? So when you get here, you don't even need to do this. You just say, okay, this, my answer is going to be negative. Just change the sign. Once you get here, change the sign, and that's your solution. Okay? And if we put it in Desmos, 2x squared plus 3x minus 5, 2x squared plus 3x minus 5, Look at where it crosses, negative 2.5 and 1. Those are my solutions. One of the solutions was 1. The other one was negative 2.5. And if I do negative 2.5, type it here and change it to a fraction, it will give you the fraction. Okay? So you can do it however you want. Pause the video. I want you to do problem number 4. Try problem number 4 by yourself. First thing you do is multiply 8 times 5. What does that give you? 40. So my equation is x squared minus 22x plus 40 equals 0. And remember, we're going to need that 8 later on. Right? So I need factors of 40 that give me a summer difference of 22. So I have 1 times 40. I have 2 times 20, and that will work because I need 22, right? So if I add, si sumo, 
2 and 20, that's 22. So it's a sum. So they're both going to be positive or they're both going to be negative. What do you think? This is a negative, so they both have to be negative, right? So it's going to be x minus 2 and x minus 20 equals 0. What's the next step? Divide. Divide both of them by that 8. Okay? Divide both of them by that 8. So what's 2 divided by 8 and what's 20 divided by 8? Put it in decimals. 2 divided by 8 and 20 divided by 8. Both of those are fractions. I mean, they're decimals. So if you hit the fraction button, that's a fourth, and that one's five halves. Okay? So remember I told you that once you get there, you're done. Because you just changed the signs. So I know I have one-fourth and five over two. So this is x minus one-fourth and x minus five over two equals zero. Really, you're supposed to move that two to the front, right? And that four to the front. But I can finish right there. I can stop. Everybody can stop right there and say, okay, my solutions are x equals, this is a negative, so it becomes a positive one-fourth. And this one's also a negative, so it becomes a positive five over two. Right? That's it. It gets tricky when it's a repeating decimal, so in a little bit, maybe we can see one of those. Go ahead and pause the video. Do problem five and six by yourself. Five, oh wait, before you do five and six, this one needs to be moved over, change the sign, and this one needs to be moved over, change the sign. So this becomes a positive, so that's 3x squared plus 7x plus 2 equals 0, and this one's going to end up right here in the middle of both of those, but it's going to be a negative, so that's 8 x squared minus 10x plus 3 equals 0. It always has to equal to 0. So pause the video and work those two problems out. You can use decimals if you want, or you can do it by hand. Okay, some of you did it by hand. Thank you so much. Let's put it in decimals and see what it looks like, okay? I have 3x squared plus 7x plus 2. So I'm going to erase all of this that I had before. 3x squared plus 7x plus 2. Okay? Hit the solutions. One of them is a negative 2 and one of them is a negative 0 0.3333333. It's a repeating decimal. Okay? That's what I want you to know. And you, the only way to change that to a fraction is you have to repeat it. So when you type it, you're going to type negative 0 0.33333, and you have to repeat it almost to the end of the line until this little button pops up. When you hit it, it tells you that it's negative 1.3. It's also on the board on top of my, uh, on top of my, what is this called? Smart board. Okay? The fractions and place values are up there. So those are my solutions, x equals negative 2 and x equals negative 1 third. Do the same thing for problem 6, check it in the calculator and see what you get. Press pause. Okay, so when we type it in Desmos, what do you get? You get 0 0.5 and 0 0.75, they're both positive, so type both of them on here, these are easy ones and 0 0.75, and you should memorize them. Hey, se lo memorizan. 0 0.5 is 1 half. 0 0.75 is 3 fourths. Okay? 0 0.25 is 1 fourth. You need to memorize these. 0 0.33333 is 1 third, and 0 0.66666 is 2 thirds. Okay? We're going to do quizzes, so get ready.